Hello everyone, I am Elohit of 2nd BTEC CSE and registered as 21010501. Added back in from my, for my existing printed website that I have developed as a part of Web Technologies Course Activity 1. Let me show you the folder structure that I have created for Course Activity 2. So this is the folder that I have created. In this folder, I have WebINF folder. In that, I have classes folder and login servlet.java. Java. Let me show you login servlet. So I have imported all the packages that are required. And I have used do post method as in the login form, I have kept method as post. Let me show you the login form as well. So these are all the HTML and CSS and the photos that I have that are required for the website. As I have kept method as post, I have used do post method in login servlet. I have set the content type to be text or HTML because I want the response to be in either text or in HTML format. I have created print writer object and I have used two string reference variables to get the username and password that are given by the user. Uh, in this try block, I have made the SQL connect my SQL connections as these database connections can raise an error. I have kept that in try and catch block. I have connected to the database using connection, get connection method. I have created statement object through which we can send query to MySQL. So this will fetch. So this username is the username that the user has entered. If the credentials are right, this will be redirected to the main page of the website. Otherwise, it will be redirected to download HTML where uh, we'll be showing the username or password is wrong. And we are closing the connection. So let me show you. The mappings in the web.xml. So the servlet, it has servlet tag. Servlet name is login server classes login servlet servlet mapping and my welcome file is login.html. So this is a mapping. This is a wrong.html where a simple table is created and a wrong username and password message is kept. And a button when clicked on login again, again, you will be redirected to login.html so that you can log in with correct credentials. So this is all about the folder structure. Let me deploy it in the Tomcat web server. Copying the folder that I have created. This PC, C drive, program files, Apache Software Foundation, Tomcat 8.5. In web apps, I'm pasting my folder. So I'm starting my Tomcat. So let me show you the database. MySQL command line client. As soon as you enter into command line client, you will be asked to enter the password that you have given. I have created user DB database. So this is the table. These are the four people that are registered in, a, in my website. Only if these four people enter 
you'll be redirected to the main website. So let me show you. I have started my Tomcat. So let us check whether the Tomcat is working fine or not. Local host 8080. So Tomcat is working fine. The folder name that I have created is. So this is my home login page where I have used frames for this. Let me give you correct username. I have given Sudha Sudha123. Sudha is a username. Password is Sudha123. So as soon as you click in login, you'll be redirected to food.html. So this is how you log in. If we give wrong credentials, so let me try. One, two, three. When clicked on login, you will be redirected to wrong.html. When clicked on login again, again you will be redirected to login.html so that you can give current correct credentials and login again. So this is how I have made the database connection. And letting alone only the users that I have that are registered. Hope you liked it. Thank you for watching.